Yep. What I have here is Norristown Union, um, my fake bank. I've been getting a lot of questions on, about how to use it, so I'm going to be answering those. So, first thing you do is you click this little login link here, and it takes you to this page. Uh, you can type whatever credentials you want or just none at all. Anything will work. All right, so uh, same with the verification. It's all fake. So what I have here are the default settings of the fake bank um, and its account page. So here are the accounts and here are the recent transactions. Um, you can actually add transactions and edit your accounts from the help page. For example, right now the account uh, the first account's name is personal checking. You can change that to testing. One. And there you go. Testing one, two, one, two. You can also change the balance of any account to whatever you want. And same with the IDs. There you go. Everything's changed. Um, we can add a transaction by first putting in the date, um, 420, uh, description, ID. Um, let's make it go. One amount is zero. Remember to put the um, the dollar sign there and the status should be confirmed now when you actually add a transaction it doesn't change the balance of your account it just displays so if you're gonna actually um, fake a transaction um, you're going to want to uh, actually edit the balance so let's say we got one dollar onto this account you're gonna change that we're gonna add one to it before adding the transaction also uh, when you're accessing the help page, you're going to want to cut the internet connection on your virtual machine. Um, the reason uh, that these two aren't actually links is so that you can cut the internet connection and still use both of them and then turn it back on so that the scammers won't be able to see what you're doing. So uh, if you go back to the accounts, right here, the transaction, $1, account ID, test, uh, the date, confirmed. Um, also, the transactions here, uh, you can see the IDs don't actually match any of the IDs here. Uh, so when you change the, your account ID, it's, good, it's important to also fill this up with uh, transactions uh, with the updated IDs. Um, so aside from that, I have these little uh, tools you can use, which are blocking developers tools, or as most people call them, inspect element and uh, cookie saving and session expiration. So uh, blocking developers tools. So if you don't know what developers or tools are or inspect element, um, it's where you can edit the HTML of a site. Most people do it by right click and then inspect. So you see the HTML source code opens up here and you can edit it live. Um, so a lot of scammers use this. Um, they click on the balance of your account. Uh, they say they're giving you a refund. They type in whatever they want. And uh, then they say, oh, we sent you your refund. Check how much we sent you. Oh no, we accidentally sent you too much. Now give us our money back. That's what they're gonna do. So what you want to do is uh, block and inspect element. So the first uh, option here is to add an overlay, but we'll get back to that. Um, so we're going to go straight to blocking, right-clicking, and keyboard shortcuts. So um, aside from right-clicking, it can be opened by Control-Shift-I and by F12. All right, so um, when you select this or when you click Alt-B or when you select it, it blocks right-clicking. It'll say, uh, 
right clicking is disabled for security purposes. So anytime they try to right click, Control Shift I is disabled. Every time they click it, nothing happens. Same with F12. So um, the next thing is, uh, well, the previous thing is an overlay. Um, so let's go back to the account page. So notice how you can uh, select all the text and you can, uh, every time you inspect, it takes you directly to the text that you clicked inspect on. So that's the default, but we don't want, we want, we want to make it difficult for them. So we're going to remove that. We're not going to let them just easily open it. So when you right click on it and click inspect, instead of taking you uh, so that you can edit that text, it takes you right to this overlay. So like, uh, it's gonna confuse the scammers. They're gonna be like, oh, what, what, what happened? And then they're gonna keep trying it over and over. Um, if they're smart, maybe with a bit of luck, they might delete it. Um, and then they're gonna have to find this. So inspect. There you go. But when they actually try to change it, it won't work. Uh, that's because of the way the JavaScript works. Um, this is just displaying a variable um, stored in JavaScript. It just mirrors the variable and um, it's updated every millisecond. So every time you try to uh, change it, it's just updated right back to the variable. The only thing you edited is the display. Um, so what they're most, unless they're uh, like really tech savvy, um, if they're really tech savvy, they might delete the ID, which will stop um, the JavaScript from updating it. And then they can type in whatever they want. But since they're, since they're probably not good with HTML or JavaScript, what they're probably gonna do is end up transferring uh, money from your account. But uh, I'm gonna refresh now because uh, deleting the ID of the table just delete, uh, destroyed the thing. So, all right, now that I refreshed, I wanna show you how the transfers work. So uh, this has $9,000. Let's transfer them to the online checking. All right, this is the one and the online checking is the second one, okay. Let's transfer, I don't know, 5,000. Uh, you don't wanna put any commas in there or it'll break the thing. All right, the verification code is also uh, just there to annoy the scammers. They're gonna have to ask you to check your phone or whatever. That'll just waste some of their time, uh, but really anything works. So you can tell them that you received a text message saying, just any number. There's also a receipt there. You can uh, click on that and it'll take you to like, um, it'll let you print it, print this little receipt. But uh, we're not going to do that right now because it's kind of useless. I've never actually had to use it. Okay, so um, now we're back here. Um, so you see how uh, $1,000 just went from, $5,000 just went from here. It used to be $9,341 and now it's 4,000. And here it used to be $1, now it's 5,001. So now let's go back to that fake help page. Uh, and now we're looking at the cookie saving. So you might notice that if you change the account name to whatever you want, and then you refresh, it'll stay there. Same with the transactions um, is well, this is because of uh, cookies. So if you check right here, look. Um, let's see here, name one is name. Name two is that. Name three is online savings. So these are all your, this is all your data. Um, but you can also see that it expires when the browsing session ends meaning whenever you close your browser, all those cookies will expire. Um, if you, you want, you can make them permanent. From over here, uh, make cookies permanent. 
So now if we go back to the cookies, uh, let's go back to say account name three, and you go back to expires, it expires, uh, it says 2021. So depending on your browser, um, it might say 2021, or it might say, uh, uh, like if it's 2020, it'll say uh, 2920. It, uh, but the browser might not let you have cookies that expire in 900 years. For some browsers, the limit is just one year, which is the case for Brave uh, with Chrome. Uh, it lets you, um, with Chrome, it lets you ha uh, have cookies expire in 900 years. Um, and if you want to clear the cookies and go back to your, uh, go back to the default, what you can do is uh, block JavaScript. All right, so now that JavaScript is blocked, the cookies won't auto update. Um, they update every millisecond. Um, that way, when you close it, it does it updates to what it was at. Um, so now that there's they're not updating, you can delete them, refresh, and unblock scripts. And there you go. It's back to the default. Now, the last feature is session expiration. So let's go back to that scenario where uh, a scammer manages to, uh, even with the overlay and blocking right clicks and F12 and control shift I, they manage to um, change the balance. So what you can do is click Alt S and it'll say your session expired, click OK to log back in. You won't be able to do anything if you try opening inspect element. Um, it'll show, the HTML will show up empty. So you, uh, it, they can't even get rid of this. The only thing you can do is click OK, and it'll take you right back to the beginning. That'll really get on their nerves. Um, so that's basically it. That's, that's the bank.